Good morning to you. You are welcome once again today to the morning charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. It is well with you and your family in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the privilege you have given us to be alive and to be in your presence once again in this morning charge program. Father, I take all the glory forever in Jesus' name. Thank you for giving us excellent health. Thank you for blessing us. Be magnified forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, as we go into our morning charge today, we pray, come and be with us in Jesus' name. Come and bless us, O Lord. Come and heal us. Come and deliver us. Come and set our feet in your own path of peace in Jesus' name. And let all the blessings you have designed for us in this new day, let all of them locate us by fire in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. Powers are signed to oppose and hinder God's plan for our lives today. Let them perish forever in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit divine, take absolute control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Today, our topic says, Thou art loosed. Thou art loosed, part one. Today is Thursday, the 29th day of June, the year 2023. If you have your Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional book, please open it to this particular day. 29th of June 2023. Like I said, our topic says, Thou art loosed. I want you to remember that that statement was part of the statement our Lord Jesus Christ said to that woman that was bent over. He said, Thou art loosed. And it is the perfect will of God that everyone that is bound by the devil, even as you listen to this morning church today, thou art loosed from your bondage in the name of Jesus Christ. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 12. Luke, chapter 13, verse 12. And it says, And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, thou art loosed from thine infirmity. You can see that our Lord identified the woman with her problem. I pray for you today that whatever that has been a problem in your life, the God of heaven and earth will identify it and will solve your problem today in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our motivational quote says, a single encounter with the God of all flesh changes stories to great glory. A single encounter with the God of all flesh changes stories to great glory. The God of all flesh shall change your own story to great gl glory forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Our prophetic word for today says, I prophesy that the Lord will visit you today and all your long-standing challenges shall disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Our fire scripture is taken from 
the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13. I will begin from verse 10 and we get to 17. Luke, chapter 13, from verses 10 to 17. And it says, And he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman which had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bowed together and could in no wise lift up herself. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said unto her, Woman, thou art loosed from thy infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. And the ruler of the synagogue answered with indignation because that Jesus had healed on the Sabbath day and said unto the people, There are six days in which men ought to walk. In them therefore come and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. The Lord then answered him and said, Thou hypocrite, doth not each one of you on the Sabbath on the Sabbath lose his ox or his ass from the stall and lead him away to watering? And ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan had bound low, these eighteen years be loosed from this bond on the Sabbath day? And when he had said these things, all his adversaries we are ashamed, and all the people rejoiced for all the glorious things that were done by him. Amen. So we see from this episode that, number one, the woman had a demon that was called the spirit of infirmity. Number two, we found that this wicked spirit held the woman bound and bowed her down for 18 long years. That's many years of suffering. Number three, the woman was bent over and could not stand upright. Number four, when Jesus saw the woman, he spoke word of immediate deliverance and healing to her and he said woman thou art loose from thy infirmity the implication of that is that our lord did not delay at all nearly our lord saw her our lord identified her and made word of pronouncement upon her life that she is loose and the bible said that she got loose immediately it means that God has burden to solve our problems and we need to carry our challenges and our problems to Him. We must not be tired. We must bring them all to Him in prayer. That's why that particular song says, What a friend we have in Jesus. He said, All our griefs and sins to bear. He said we should carry all our needs to him in prayer. That when we do, the Lord will answer us. I pray that the Lord will answer your own prayers in the name of Jesus Christ. We we'll also see that our Lord did not only pronounce the woman's uh, deliverance, but he laid his hands on her. And the Bible says when our Lord did this, he said the woman was made straight immediately. As we are listening to this morning church, the God of heaven and earth is laying hand upon you and upon your family. Every area that you are having challenges, the hand of our God will touch you this morning and you will see a miraculous turnaround for the best for you and for your family and for your loved ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll go for a short break 
and we'll come back soon. God bless you. It's three bottles for three dimensions. One you will drink. One for where you live. And one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! These elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the mountain of fire and miracles ministry's annual water of fire taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the general overseer, mountain of fire and miracles ministries will be ministering live from the international headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms platforms Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixair. The July edition of PMCH Water of Fire. First of July 2023, 0700 WAT. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fast into three bottles of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, surely the Lord is here. You are welcome back to Morning Church. I want to remind you that we are still talking about Thou art loosed. And we mentioned that our Lord Jesus Christ laid his hands on the woman that was bent over and healed her instantly. The Lord will heal you instantly today in the name of Jesus Christ. Then we see that the woman started praising God and glorifying God. This reminds us how we need to always express gratitude. When the Lord does something for us, we need to remember and express gratitude. Someone has said that the attitude of gratitude is the right attitude. The attitude of gratitude is the right attitude. We must not fail. The spirit of gratitude is the spirit that manifests miracles more and more and make great and better things to happen in our lives as children of God. We see in this particular episode that healing and perfect health is the perfect will of God for all his children. In the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 1 to 3, we see that God is always willing to heal his children. That is where the Lord said to the leper, I will be thou clean. The Bible said that immediately the man was made every week whole. In Acts chapter 10, verse 28, we see also a confirmation that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power and with the Holy Ghost. The Bible says that Jesus Christ went about doing good, healing them that were oppressed of the devil. He said because God was with him. So you see that it is the will of God to heal all that are oppressed of the devil and to lose them so the lord wants us to know today that every area of our lives every area of your life that there is bondage as you are listening to this morning charge today the god of heaven and earth shall stretch forth his hand and you will be completely loosed and set free in the name of jesus christ then we see also from the scripture that the wickedness of the devil bent the woman over for 18 years. This reality is underlined by the scripture in John chapter 10, verse 10, which says that the thief cometh not except for to steal and to kill and to destroy. That is the wickedness of the devil. In those days, it was like that. Today, it's still the same thing. The devil is a wicked task 
master. He punishes people. He comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. But that is the opposite of what our Lord Jesus Christ came to do. The Bible says that our Lord Jesus Christ said in the same scripture, John chapter 10 verse 10, the second part, he said, but I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. So in Christ Jesus Christ, we enjoy life as the children of God. I pray for you today, whether the devil likes it or not, in this very day and beyond today, you shall enjoy life forever in the name of Jesus Christ. You have the right to enjoy your life every single day. The devil does not want the believer to enjoy life. God Almighty wants the child of God to enjoy God and to enjoy life. I prophesy upon your own life and upon the life of your family members. All of you from today shall begin to enjoy your lives in Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ. The mercy and love of God delivered the woman that was bound and set her free. It is the compassion and the mercy of our God. That is why the Bible says in the book of Lamentation, chapter 3, he says, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. For his compassions, they fail not. He said, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. So you see, every night when you sleep and you wake up in the morning, every new day, every new morning, the Bible says that God's compassions, God's loving kindness towards us, God's mercy towards us, he said they are new. I decree upon your own life and upon the life of your family that from today, each new day, you will enjoy the mercies and the compassions of the Most High God in the name of Jesus Christ. The woman expressed gratitude to God immediately. She got her healing. Some people used to postpone their own gratitude. Some people begin to say, let me wait and watch before I begin to thank God. But the Bible says that immediately you are blessed and the word is pronounced upon you and your miracle manifests. Even before it manifests, begin to thank God. Begin to praise God. That is exercise of faith. So when God has done something for you, it is the will of God that we express that gratitude. If you are a parent and you did something for your child and the child expresses gratitude in you, you find that your heart is happy and you are willing and ready to do more. But if you do something for your child and the child is grumbling more instead of saying thank you daddy or thank you mommy, you find that you will be you will not be too happy in your heart. You say, what kind of child is this? And you'll be praying for that child that God will turn that child to change. It is the same thing to change for the better. It is the same thing in following our Lord Jesus Christ. When God has done something for us, let us testify. Let us say, God has done such and such a thing for me. Tell people, say it in church, give testimony, so that you encourage other people that are believing God for their own. Also, you can see the woman began to glorify God and say, God, oh, thank you. Everybody come and see what the Lord has done for me. That is what God expects, expects us to do, to glorify his name when his power manifests in our situations and circumstances. I want you to know that even in the scripture, that in our morning church today, that when the ruler of the synagogue saw that this woman was healed, instead of rejoicing with her, he began to complain. In fact, he actually got annoyed. He actually got offended. Instead of saying, thank God, this woman that has been coming to church every day and I see her bent over, now God has healed her. Instead of saying, what wonderful. This is wonderful. This is miracle. To God be the glory. Instead, he began to complain. That is very sad. The Bible says, rejoice with them that rejoice. And weep with those that weep. Here the woman was rejoicing, but that man was not happy to love the synagogue. That man was a church man. That man was a pastor. That man was the head of the church. Instead of praising God, he became jealous, he became envious. That must not be our attitude 
when God performs miracle for other persons. We'll go for a short break and then we'll come again. God bless you. It's three bottles for three dimensions. One you will drink, one for where you live, and one for the battles of life. Water! Fire! These elements of God will come together and do wonders in our lives. It's the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries annual Water of Fire taking place at the July edition of Power Must Change Hands. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries will be ministering live from the International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. And this event will be streamed live on all our social media platforms platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Mixer. The July edition of PMCH Water of Fire. 1st of July, 2023, 0700-WAT. This is a day to bring all that concerns you before the Lord and cut off every evil hand troubling your life. Come fasting for three bottles of water. Jesus is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Yeah, welcome back. Our topic says, Thou art loosed. So we see how our Lord Jesus Christ did a wonderful work, a great work in the life of the woman that was found. Our Lord set her loose. We also saw that not everybody was happy particularly the leader of the synagogue. He complained. And he began to rebuke everybody. Everybody that attended the church that day received the rebuke from the leader of the synagogue because somebody was blessed that God touched somebody and healed that person. That was a very bad spirit from the part of the leader of the synagogue. You find that Jesus Christ, thank God, went ahead and rebuked the leader of the synagogue and told him that, that he acted as a hypocrite. He said, even on a Sabbath day that the leader of the synagogue was complaining about, that each of them that has an ox or has a donkey will break the law and go out to lead their ox or their donkey to go and drink water and then come back. Then our Lord told the man and challenged him and said, is it not better, this woman, the daughter of Abraham, that the devil has bound for 18 long years, is it wrong for God to lose her and to heal her on the Sabbath day? And our Lord called the leader of the synagogue a hypocrite. And that definition was well deserved for the leader of the synagogue who failed to show a good example that he has been preaching because he couldn't even rejoice with those that he was preaching to. That was a very bad habit. We must not behave that, 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 like that man so that our own blessings will also come to us and others will rejoice with us. You realize that our Lord Jesus Christ called that woman daughter of Abraham, confirming that he was worthy of healing. The implication of that is that everybody who is a true child of God is worthy and qualified to receive healing from the Lord. I pray for you today that your own healing will saturate your life and overwhelm your life and your own family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall pray these prayers and I want you to say them after me. Oh Lord, give me a yoke breaking encounter today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give me a yoke breaking encounter today in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, give me a yoke breaking encounter today in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray. I want you to pray like this again. The anointing that sets totally free come upon my life now. The anointing that sets totally free. Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing.
that sets totally free come upon my life now. In Jesus' name we pray. I want you to still pray like this. Age-long affliction. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Age-long affliction. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. Age-long affliction. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for answering our prayers and we thank you for blessing us in today's morning church with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. Father, Lord, take all the glory forever and ever in the name of Jesus. Father, as your children step into this new day, as your children who have been listening to this morning church step into this new day, Father, be with them in Jesus' name. Lead them and guide them in Jesus' name. Fight their battles and give them all the victory in Jesus' name. Father, the deep desires of their hearts that are in line with your perfect will, Father, bring them to pass in this new day in Jesus' name. I decree upon all their lives, no evil shall befall them in Jesus' name, and no place shall come near their dwelling in Jesus' name. By day, fight for all your children. By night, fight for them. In life, you dream, fight for them and give them all the victory in the name of Jesus. They shall return back home at night with testimonies to your own glory. Thank you, Father, for answering all these prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.